So I knew a guy was a sculptor one time and he used to take old Model A bodies and things and cut them up and make them into dragons and all kind of animals and things. And he'd talk about, you know, that metal was so good, it'd been sitting around on the ground for a hundred years and he could still cut it up into a shape and is stronger than any kind of new metal he could buy. It's the kind of way this front axle is. This is a 44 front axle and I tell you, I don't know if you can see how many boxes of drill bits I've got here, but I've got four or five or six and they're just overflowing. And I've got my drill sharpener and I've been sharpening the bit and running it in there and bringing it out and getting another bit that was cool and sharpening it and oiling it and one at a time. It's been quite a process to uh, get some holes in this axle. I don't just want to tell you that, but it's coming. It's coming. Okay, so here's an update on where we are today. Uh, I spent all day yesterday drilling four holes in this axle. Uh, and if you, if you don't believe they made steel real back in the 40s when they made that, grab yourself a drill bit and try drilling a hole in one of them axles sometime. That will, uh, pretty much show you how hard the steel was back then uh, I burned up a ton of drill bits and sharpened them resharpened them and continued to use them and I finally got through this morning went down got me some grade 8 bolts and I'm gonna be uh, attaching those little brackets right up here on the front end of this and the way they work is uh, that tow bar right there has hook pins where I can put the tow bar on there and then take it off when I don't want to uh, run it, which is going to be, oh, I think just about right. 